everybody. Welcome. Hope you had all had a good Christmas and good safe New Year. Uh, I've been getting a lot of questions on this mini lathe. Just want to kind of answer some of them. Uh, one, do I think it was worth it? Um, would I buy it again? Why did I buy this one? Um, so forth. First of all, most of these mini lays are all the same for the most part. They're, uh, there's not much of a difference um, whether you buy it at Harbor Freight, Amazon, eBay, uh, whatever. The reason that I bought this one is not necessarily because I thought it was the best one out there or uh, I would have probably not even purchased one of these little mini lays uh, if it weren't for the fact that I just don't have a lot of room. Uh, I just have a little little two stall garage. It's not very not very big at all. Uh, you know, there's just it's just not very big. My wife parks in here. Actually, my 30 Chevrolet pickup that I have on, I push it right up against the wall, and uh, it's not a very big truck. If you know anything about them, they're not very big, and there's just not a lot of room. There's a mower and a snowblower here in front of it, and that's about it. So, garage just isn't very big, and I would have probably never bought this other than the fact that uh, I just didn't have a lot of room. So, uh, for what I paid for this. I could have probably purchased a, a what I call a real lathe. I could have bought a better, a lot better, older um, American-made bench top, or uh, you know, a bigger one with a stand uh, for probably the same money. Um, so I did purchase this one off of eBay, and um, one of the reasons that I bought this particular one, and I did pay probably, I want to say. Um, I didn't pay their asking price for it. I just paid uh, because they had they were open offers. So basically, I lowballed them. They came down. I went up a little bit. They came down a little more. So uh, I think I actually paid maybe about fifty or sixty dollars more than I could have for one the same size from another place. Uh, the reason that I did purchase this one for just a little bit more money was, um, I'm not sure where the stuff's at from this, but it has, um, the gears on the side here for this. And I have the extra set also uh, that goes on here. Um, I wasn't really pleased with the company that I bought it from, but you know. So the gears on this one are metal. And I know you can buy metal gears, but uh, why not just pay a few dollars more and get a, get a machine that, that already has the metal gears. So that's why I did that because uh, there's a company that makes the metal gears for all of these and um, I don't know right offhand how much they are honestly but uh, I know they're not you know $50 so that's why I purchased this particular one um, I've made a few things on it it seems to work okay it's a bit noisy uh, motor wise gear wise actually obviously it's got metal gears in it so um, this piece here is loose still loose they were gonna send me a, a thing to fix that never did um, obviously these all need work and upgrades on them uh, you know so this uh, I bought uh, the little drill piece at Harbor Freight for a coupon I paid I don't know nine or ten dollars for it um, you know, they, uh, there's play in that, there's play in everything. I've not used it a whole lot, um, obviously with, uh, with the holidays and so forth, you know, life gets in the way. Uh, one thing that I absolutely do not like about this is the guard on it. Um, I have it actually hooked back, but when it's forward, you have just this little viewing area and this piece here is solid so you really it's really hard to see the chuck so I just have it basically wired up so it'll 
it'll uh, run uh, with uh, this being on the um, with it being flipped back. So uh, has all the all the charts on the side for your different stuff. I'm gonna order. I have a quick post change tool ordered for it. I've got some stuff ordered that are coming. You know, I'm gonna do some upgrades to it. All of these mini lays, I don't care where you buy it. They all need upgrades. Obviously, there's tons and tons of videos on YouTube about them. Um, would I buy it again? Like I said, if I had if I had the uh, the room here. I would have uh, probably not even purchased this. Um, it does what I need it to do. Uh, make small things. I've made, you know, a few small things, and uh, it, it works for what I need it to. It does. It's the tolerances are as good as what I need them them to be. Uh, if you're doing absolute machine work down to the thousands. I probably wouldn't recommend one of these. There are people that swear by them on YouTube that say, you know what, these can be just as good as any any other machine. Um, and that's probably true, but I'm, I'm not a machinist, um, uh, nor do I play one on YouTube. So uh, it is what it is, and, and uh, you know... I uh, must have it unplugged right now, so, oh, maybe not. There we go. It's on now. But, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's not bad for the money. You know, it's really, it's really not horrible for the money. I said it's, you know... It works. That's what I needed to do, you know. So you make your own decision what uh, what you think is best for your situation. Um, like I said, I don't have a lot of room. If you don't have a lot of room, this and you're not going to do big, huge parts. Uh, obviously, would work out well for you. And uh, so hopefully this helps out a little bit. And uh, if there's any more questions, leave some comments. You know, hit me up. I'd be glad to answer them. Like I said, I'm not a I'm not a machinist. I don't know a lot about these. There's, there's all kinds of people that know way more about these than I do. Like I said, for, for what I do, it, uh, it works out. And, uh, you know, um, you just have to decide whether you, you know, you're, you're going to have, if you can, if you have the room and you can, and you can find a good used one on Craigslist or eBay or something like that, and you have the room for a bigger one, I would suggest you buy a bigger one, an older one, a US made one. Make sure you can get tooling with it. Tooling will kill you uh, for price. So I will have as much in the upgrades that I'm gonna do to this, because I'm not doing all the upgrades that everybody does. I'm For what I'm gonna do with this, I could have bought, uh, spent the money, even a little bit more money and bought a legit, uh, what I call a legit lathe basically and, um, and been fine. So uh, money wise, um, I don't know that they're really worth it. You're gonna have a bunch into it. I can tell you that. By the time you start buying tooling, this one did come with a little bit of tooling. Uh, nothing great, obviously. It's not, you know, just uh, basically it was everything to get started. Um, I did buy this. Like I said, had metal gears, had a little bit of tooling, and um, you know I was able to turn some stuff without having to buy anything else. So you know that that to me was a little bit worth you know the little bit of extra money that I paid for it. So you know you have to make the determination yourself. Like I said, it works if you're just a hobbyist, somebody that wants to make some small stuff. You know what I say? Go for it. I say buy one. You know what? Find the ones that are accepting offers on eBay and offer them less. And you know what? Start from there and just see uh, if it works out for you. So, like I said, hope everybody had a good Christmas and a good New Year's. Um, I'm going to get back on this uh, 1930 Chevrolet pickup. Um, 
and we're gonna get back on that. I've got the wood made for the doors and I'm gonna get that stuff done and uh, I wanna get this thing on the road. Uh, definitely wanna take it to Torque Fest, um, which is a fundraiser car show in Dubuque, Iowa, if you're around, so hopefully uh, we'll get it there. But uh, you know what, good luck. Hope this answers some of your questions that uh, concerns with that. But, uh, you know, you just have to do what's right for you. So uh, I appreciate you watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, share. Um, that would help out a bunch. And uh, I appreciate it all. I appreciate the people that I have uh, for subscribers now. And um, keep watching. We'll have more to come. Thanks.